I love that we have matching skirts, but as ASB president and ASB vice president, I feel like we should have some more matching going on. You know what? I'm totally with you. We, I know exactly the place to get matching shirts. Where? The Hive. What's the Hive? Okay, come on, I'll show you. Okay. The Hive is located in the industrial building past all of the beautiful dumpsters. <laughs> here we are. Oh, wow. So what can I buy here? Oh my gosh, you can buy all sorts of stuff. Oh, no way. Over here we have our vintage AHS gear with some nice plaid AHS sweatpants that say AHS on them. Nice. It's pretty crazy. But what if I want to buy my class t-shirt? Oh, then you're totally in luck. Over here, whether you're a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, or a senior, the hive is lit. lit. <laughs> oh, and so what's this stuff? You can also get awesome beanies and a ton of other Hornet gear. And if you need PE clothes, we have all types of stuff. Cool. Hey, can we buy two matching shirts? Of course. Thank you. This wasn't exactly what I expected, but at least we match. Yay! <laughs> Hi, my name is Kareen. And my name is Anson. And welcome to this year's first newscast. Every Monday, Leadership and TV Media 2 will be bringing you these newscasts to keep you informed. So stay tuned. Now to events. Listen up kids, back to school night is on September 8th, starting at 6 p.m. Please tell your parent or guardian so they can be prepared to meet your teachers and learn about the classes you're taking. Attention class of 2019, sophomore class t-shirts will be sold all this week at the Hive during lunch. T-shirts are $14 with ASB and $15 without. Get yours today before they're all sold out. Club officers, there's a mandatory meeting next week on Wednesday, August 31st in Mr. Purse's classroom, room 435, for anyone who wishes to make a club. They'll be going over all the paperwork and information, so be there. Also, if you're interested in joining a new club this year, but you're not sure which, Club Day is for you. Club Day will be Friday, September 16th at lunch, and representatives from all different clubs will come out and have booths set up with information about their club. You might get freebies too, so come on out. If you're short on school supplies, last year's locker cleanout got you covered. Kids who cleaned out their lockers last year donated lots of binders and some other things for use this year. If you want to check out any of the stuff, just pop into Dr. Griffith's class, room 248, or the Media Center. Everything is free. That's right, free. <coughs> Notebooks and binders. But last but not least, we'd like to give a shout out to all the members of Link Crew for putting in their time and effort over the summer to make Link Day such a success. Great job, Hornets. So can you explain exactly to us uh, what SMART period is and what it does? Sure, sure. The SMART period is time built into the school day to help students for a variety of reasons. It can help students who are struggling, who need more um, explanation. It gives them a chance to um, review material with their teachers in a smaller setting than they might have had during class. It also just gives them a chance to go over the work themselves, just to have some reflective time to go back over their work that um, you know, sometimes it's, everything's happening really quickly in a regular school day. So the SMART period allows extra time of the day for those folks to catch up. It also allows um, students who maybe are caught up but just have a whole lot of work. It gives them a chance to catch up in that work, a chance to just take a moment, take a break in the day, and hopefully not be so overwhelmed and so overloaded with all they have going on. So are students able to leave the classroom and go to other classes? Um, and if so, can you explain the process? Yeah, I'm glad you asked because they are able to do that, but they have to make arrangements for that ahead of time. So students must always report to their home smart period where they are assigned and they have to go there and, and um, be present in order to get credit for attending. If they need to go somewhere else, so they want to go see a different teacher during that time, maybe to make up a test or maybe to work with another student on something, they have to make arrangements for that ahead of time. So if they go to that other teacher ahead of time, that teacher can issue them a pass. The student still goes to his or her home smart period and presents that pass to their smart period teacher and that's <clears throat> their sort of ticket out of the classroom. If they haven't done that ahead of time, they cannot leave. My name is Kareen and welcome to this week's sports update. This, this Friday, September 2nd, we have our first home game for football. The Hornets will be playing Washington High School. Be there or be square. Thanks for listening in to this week's newscast. We'll see you next week.